I'm here at Shekinah Ranch and we're working on our demolition. As you can see, uh, our backdrop is very unpleasant. It's ugly, it's old, it's dilapidated, it's falling in. This is the condition of many people's lives. I mean, they've lived their whole life drinking alcohol, smoking drugs, shooting drugs, you know, sexing it up with sex partner after sex partner after sex partner. And God never intended us to live like that. You know, our, our lungs was never intended to be a smokestack. And then people turn 50 and 60 and their bodies are falling apart. Their lives are at a shambles. They have children by multiple partners. And their lives are all screwed up and they're still trying to find fulfillment. As we're out here at Shekinah Ranch, you know, we build leadership skills and really our programming is changing. We're building champions. We're teaching people how to work out solutions for their problems instead of drowning in alcohol and drowning it in sex as if you know, if I have another orgasm, my problem is going to go away. No, it's going to increase your problems. And then people are on nerve medicine and high blood pressure and all the pills as a result of their lifestyle. And then they're bitter, they're unfriendly, and they're always trying to find a scapegoat to blame their problems on something or somebody. Well, I want to tell you today, Jesus Christ is the answer. Jesus Christ will turn this into a wonderful life. It's not going to be easy. It's going to take work. And I've almost, even though I know prayer is the power plan of God, I'm almost tired of hearing Christians say, pray for me. Because it's as if in their mind they're thinking, if I get a hundred people to pray for me, things are going to change. But if you don't start making better choices, and if you don't start standing on God's word and being obedient to his commandments, their prayers are not going to go any further than their bedroom or their bathroom. Look, you need to make up your mind in the, at, 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 at the age you are, whatever that age may be, that you want to see change in your life. I want to invite you to come to Spirit of Life Christian Center. I want, you to, I want to invite you to uh, hook up with us so that we can teach you the authority of God's Word. Oh yeah, I've got my critics out there. And I want to challenge you, my critics. Why don't we have a supernatural spiritual duel you know, you bring your religious criticism, and I'm just going to bring the love of God and the faith of God, and let's build the kingdom. Let's not talk about it. We're in a position where our youth need someone who understands and knows what they're doing to speak into their life and help provide an example. I am tired of you critics. You're nothing but mean, evil, and critical. And when it comes down to it, you'll be the one that's talking about love someone. Why don't you turn your criticism into love and forgiveness and help and invest some money. <laughs> if you really know what it takes, it takes investing money and building programs like we're doing here at Shekinah Ranch. Well, I'll probably tick some of you off, but some of you need some ticking. Here's Donovan Larkin signing out. God bless you.